Hello everybody and welcome to another uh, video looking at the life of a World War One soldier. So tonight we are going to look at the life of Herbert Francis Burden. Now Herbert Francis Burden was born on the 22nd of March 1889 to Arthur and Charlotte Mary Burden at 10 Doggett Road, Catford in Lewisham. He was one of 11 children born to them. By the time of the 1911 census, his father was a cricket fields groundsman. Also by the time of the 1911 census, only six of the children that his parents had were still alive. This is including Herbert. On the 23rd of November 1914, Herbert lied about his age, claiming that he was 19 when he was in fact 16, to join the East Surrey Regiment but deserted less than a month later on the 14th of no December 1914 to join the Northumberland Fusiliers, once again lying about his age. Herbert was sent to France and arrived on the 24th of March 1915. He deserted several times during 1915. He should have answered parade at 7pm on the 26th of June for a trench working party, but was absent. His court-martial was one of three held on the, tw on the 2nd of July 1915. Of the two other soldiers, one received a year's imprisonment with hard labour for sleeping on guard, the other one, 30 days field punishment number one for using threatening language. At Her uh, Herbert's trial, Two witnesses said that they had seen him in the transport line on the 26th of June 1915, when, when challenged, he claimed he was going to see a friend. Private Burden was found guilty of desertion and sentenced to death by firing squad. The execution was carried out at 4am on the 21st of July 1915. Now, it should also be said at this point as well that it was fairly common for a, a lot of younger soldiers to lie about their age when they joined up. There were several reasons for this. A, a lot of it was down to pressure from their, from their peers and also the uh, people in the uh, society that they lived, oh, well, not society, but the uh, the, the local people where they lived because a lot of people the, there was the whole thing with the white feathers a, 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 young ma a young woman would go up to a young man if he wasn't in uniform he would uh, she would give him a white feather as a sign of cowardice and but there was also a feeling amongst, amongst a lot of soldiers not just underage ones as well that they didn't want to miss out because in 1914 a lot of people thought the war would be over by Christmas which I suppose to be fair it was although not that Christmas anyway back to uh, back to Herbert so the e there is a bit of a postscript to this because the East Surrey Regiment, not knowing that he had re-enlisted after he'd deserted from them, still had him down as missing in 1920. And on the 27th of April 1920, gave him a court-martial for desertion, even though obviously he couldn't attend said court-martial, and loss of public property. And he was fined eight pounds, which would have been a lot of money then, and sentenced to a year's imprisonment. Private Burden is remembered on Lewisham War Memorial and the National Memorial Arboretum in Staffordshire, being one of the 306 soldiers that were pardoned in 2006. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in a future video.